So I just wanted to briefly demonstrate this RF generator board. The circuit is very simple in this, basically a ZVS. It's very simple to drive as well. This is a coil that I fabricated. It's approximately five inches in diameter, two turns. This is the coil it came equipped with. Manufactured to have a frequency of around 40 megahertz. Having this coil on it, it operates around 18 megahertz. This is another coil I fabricated. Simple compression fittings make them easy to swap out if I wanted to. For power supplies, I have these two. I'm using this for the gate bias. And I have this one for the main voltage supply on the board. This RF generator is very easy to operate. Go ahead and turn this on. This will be my gate bias. It only needs five volts. This is our main power supply. I'll increase the voltage slowly. It starts operating at a very low voltage. So I have it set to three volts here. And I'll just excite this mercury vapor tube very easily. As you can see, energy from the coil is enough to excite the plasma in the tube. Nothing too exciting there. I have this small water pump to circulate some water through the water block in the back of the board. And then also circulates water through the coil to keep the coil cool. Let's just go ahead and increase this to its maximum output, 35 volts. I got a couple, I got a few of these gas tubes here. This one's helium actually. Let me shut these lights off so we can see it. Pretty interesting effect there. Bit of a dark spot, depending on where you place it in the coil. You can actually touch it to the coil and get a pretty strong current through the through the tube. Pretty crazy discharges there as well. Have an arc on the coil there.
kind of excite this plasma lamp here. Unfortunately, though, no plasma toroid. Take a light bulb, we can actually light the filament in the light bulb. I set up this mercury tube inside the smaller coil. We just have it sitting on some spacers here so it holds it directly in the center. And this is pretty sketchy, so I'm not going to do it very long. But it does create quite a bright discharge inside the tube. that is producing a ton of ozone extremely sketchy And that's just a quick demonstration of the RF generator board.